Hello everyone, this is Teacher Karen. Nandito ako ulit para magturo sa inyo ng panibago natin lesson. At good afternoon or good morning, good day sa lahat ng mga estudyante ko. Sana ay matyaga ninyong tapusin ang ating video lesson. Okay, so ang topic natin ngayon ay tungkol sa properties of equality. The first one is reflexive property of equality. So, for example, that is x is equal to x4, I am equal to myself. For example, if we have negative 1,020 is equal to negative 1,020. In short, kung ano po yung nasa kaliwa ni equal sign, ganun din po ang nasa kanan ni equal sign. symmetric property of equality. If x is equal to y, then y is equal to x. So, ito po, nagpalit lang po siya ng posisyon. So, that is symmetric property. Yung kalinang reflective property, same lang. Kung anong nasa uh, left side, ganun din po yung nasa right side ng equal sign. Dito naman po, ay nagpalit lang po ng posisyon si x and y. Okay? If x is equal to y, then y is equal to X. So, example po, if x minus 5 is equal to 2, then 2 is equal to x minus 5. If 2 plus 3 is equal to 5, then 5 is equal to 2 plus 3. Next, we have trans transitive property of equality. If x is equal to y, then y is equal to z, then x is equal to z. Ibig sabihin po, kahit sino po ang ipares po sa kanilang tatlo, ay pare-parehas lang po na sagot or their answer is equal. For example, if 2x plus 8 is equal to negative 12, then negative 12 is equal to x minus 2, then 2x plus 8 is equal to x minus 2. So meaning kahit sino ang i-pair, sino yung magkapares, they are still equal. So that is transitive property of equality. Next will be addition property of equality or in short, APE. Addition property of equality. So if x is equal to y, then x plus z is equal to y plus z. In short po, uh, example po, 5 is equal to 4 plus 1. Then 5 plus 3 is equal to 4 plus 1 plus 3. So kung ano po yung inat, kung ano po yung inat niya, yun din po, nangyada dito, ang inat po niya is plus 3, ganun din po yung i-add sa right side po. Ano po yung inat niyo po sa left side, ganun din po yung i-add niyo sa right side. So that is... Apen. For example, in this uh, another example, if x plus negative 2 is equal to 5. So, sa x plus negative 2, nag-add po ng, pa, ng 2, ganun din po sa 5, nag-add din po siya ng positive. So, equal nga po. So, ibig sabihin, kung ano po itinagdag sa left side, ganun din po itadagdag sa right side. Okay, next po. Okay, subtraction property of equality or SP. Subtraction property of equality. So if x is equal to y, then x minus z is equal to y minus z. So if 8 is equal to 6 plus 2, then 8 minus 3 is equal to 6 plus 2 minus 3. Ibig sabihin po, katulad po ng ape, kung ano po yung uh, minus sa left side, ganun din po yung same as this, if, if uh, 2y plus 4 is equal to 10, then 2y plus 4 minus 4 is equal to 10 minus 4. So, nag-minus nag po, nag-subtract po tayo ng 4, pero hindi po, nag-subtract po tayo ng 4 sa right side. Kung ano po yung nilagay sa left side, yun hindi po nilalagay sa right side. Next po, multiplication property of equality or MPE. Multiplication property of equality. So, x, if x is equal to y, then x times z is equal to y times z. Same as ape and sp. Uh, kung ano po yung pinang-multiply nyo, kung equal naman yung si x at si y equal sila, then kapag nag-multiply ng uh, 
number, dapat both sides parehas. So, they are still, their answer is still equal. Okay po, katulad po nito, if 10 is equal to 6 plus 4, then 10 times 3 is equal to 6 plus 4 times 3. Okay po. So, lagyan natin po na parehas. So, that is a uh, multiplication property of what we have to put in parentheses. Next book. Division property of equality or DP. Division property of equality. So, if x is equal to y, then x divided by z is equal to y divided by z. For example, we have if 20 is equal to 15 plus 5, then 20 divided by 10 is equal to 15 plus 5 divided by 10. So, same po ng APE, SPE, and MPE. Ganun din po. Kung ano po yung pinamultiply sa left side, ganun din po yung pinamultiply sa right side. Since na-equal naman po si X and Y, 20 is equal to 15 plus 5. So, dapat po, kung ano po yung pinamultiplied dito sa left side, ganun din po yung pinamultiplied sa right side. Substitution property. Ito po yung madalas nating ginagawa. Ginawa na po natin ang substitution property noong uh, algebraic expression natin. Noong evaluation of algebraic expression. So, if x is equal to y, then y can be substituted with x. For example po, example po, x minus is equal to 2. So, yung x na x plus 5 minus uh, is equal to 7. Yan po yung given. Yung x po, isa-substitute natin. Dahil equal naman siya sa 2, isa-substitute natin by 2. So, 2 plus 7 is equal to 7. Okay. 2 plus 5 is equal to 7. So, that is substitution. Yung value ng isang variable, isa-substitute natin yun sa given. Distributive property. Ito po ay ginamit natin nung nag-multiplication tayo ng polynomials, ng integers, gumamit po tayo ng distributive property. For example po, if x times y plus z is equal to xy plus xz. Ibig sabihin po, si x in-distribute kay y, so naging xy, and then si x in-multiply din kay z, kaya naging x. Z. Ganon din po mangyayari kay 2. 2, multiply kay 3, kaya 2 times 3, and then plus, tapos 2 times 4, yan po. Yan po yung distributive property. Next po. Complete me. Okay, we will practice. Uh, so, if 2 plus 5 is equal to 7, then 7 is equal to 1. Kung gagawin natin siyang symmetric property. Kasi ang symmetric property ay nagpapalit ng position. Kung 2 plus 5 is equal to 7, then 7 is equal to 1. That is 2 plus 5. Kasi symmetric, nagpalit lang siya ng position. Okay, next po. 80 times 2 is 84. 80 plus 4 times 2 is equal to 84 times. So, gagawin po natin siyang multiplication property of equality or MPE. So, si 80 plus 4 naging 84. And then, ano po yung ipang multiply sa kanya para maging multiplication property? So, ang gagawin po dyan, 2 pa rin. Kasi kung ano yung minultiply, pinamultiply mo sa left side, ganun din po ang ipang multiply. Next po, if 11 plus 8 is equal to 19 and 19 is equal to 10 plus 9, then 11 plus 8 is equal to 1. Gagawin natin siyang transitive property. So, meron na tayong 11 plus 8 at meron na tayong 19, dalawa. Dalawang 11 plus 8, dalawang 19. So, x is equal to y, y is equal to z. So, then x is equal to 1. So, 11 plus 8 is equal to 1 para maging transitive property. So, the answer is 10 plus 9. Kasi 
dalawa na siyang gagawin na sa inyong pahas na yung pain. So, sa inyong pahas na yung pain. Okay, next. Number 4. A plus 10 plus negative 9. So, pinag-add na po si 3 plus 10 and 13. Then, ano na po ang i-add po ito para maging addition property of equality? So, that will be negative 9. So, that is addition property. Next po, number 5. Number 5, 3 is equal to what? Para maging reflexive property. Kung matatandaan natin ang reflexive property, kung ano po yung nasa left side, ganun din po ang nasa right side. Meaning, that is 3. So, yan na po yung ating properties of equality. Thank you po sa panonood and glad that you See you again next video. Bye-bye!